Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Book Hunting. This is a segment where we take the most requested titles by you and we show you how to find books like those titles so that you can A, either find books to read in the meantime, since that hold list is probably really long wait time, or two, use the resources and strategies that we show you to find read-alikes for other books that you have enjoyed so that you have more books. This is our goal as librarians, more books all the time, like smog horde levels. Let us bring you piles of books. Um, so that's our goal today. I'm Gretchen. I'm the digital services librarian here at the Westfield Athenaeum, and I am joined by my colleagues, each of us who will be using a different resource to find five different titles. So at the end of this, you should have like a 20 book possible reading list. Results may vary. Sometimes the algorithm just doesn't make sense, but we're going to laugh and talk about it. Each one of these will have a librarian sharing their screen to show you how they use a particular resource. I'm going to use a good old Google search and will be using a resource called Fantastic Fiction. Erica will be using a resource called Novelist, which is our favorite. Oh, novelist, my novelist. <laughs> I haven't watched it in Poet Society. <laughs> and Olivia will be sharing her screen today to show us how to use some tips and tricks in the CW Mars catalog. You might be familiar with using that, but as librarians, we have like extra level knowledge of things you can click on. And you know what? You can do it at home. So we're going we're gonna to show you how to use some of those today. One of the top requested titles by you, our patrons, right now is All the Devils Are Here by Louise Penny. This is the 16th book in the Chief Inspector Armand Gamache series. I believe it's pronounced Gamache, but I don't know. I don't speak French. Um, this book uh, finds Chief Inspector Armand Gamache of the Sûreté du Québec, this is too much other language, investigating a sinister plot in the City of Light, aka Paris, a French word I can in fact pronounce. Louise Penny is a fairly big name. Um, she writes mystery, thriller, um, crime fiction. So that's the kind of book that we're hoping to find for you today, specifically uh, if you like Louise Penny, hopefully you will like the books that we find for you. So without further ado, I am going to pass this over to Olivia. The rest of us will get busy and then we will all come back together to talk about what books we found. So uh, like Gretchen said, I will be showing you how to use the catalog to find read-alikes for All the Devils Are Here by Louise Penny. So first we're going to head over to the CW Mars um, main page. So it's just um, cwmars.org and you'll find the page look like this and we'll just throw it into this big search bar right here on the front. And all the devils are here and Louise Penny. And then I'm gonna limit it to books just so we don't accidentally get some DVDs. All right, so it is here as our second result. We'll click on that. So now we're in the record for All the Devils Are Here. As you can see, there are over 300 current holds on this book. Um, you can keep looking, you can see all the libraries that have it, you can see the summary, but if you keep going, you'll get to this weird little area search for related items by subject, and then they have all the subjects, and then they also have genres. You can also find the other um, books in the series. Um, so based off of what Gretchen said, um, I think I'm gonna try something a little different instead of the detective and mystery fiction genre tag. Um, let's go with... We'll click on this one, fiction slash mystery detective slash international crime and mystery. So sometimes that's a little bit of a gamble and you might not find anything under this tag besides other uh, Three Pines mysteries. 
but it looks like we're okay. So as you can see, we have 99 results, 10 pages. Um, right now we're searching all libraries, which could be helpful if you're willing to still wait for a book to come in from another library, but I'm going to switch us over to just the Westfield, oops, Westfield Athenaeum, which you can do in the third drop down box. You can find Westfield Athenaeum on the list and we're going to switch to books again as our format and we'll do search one more time. I chose to search only Westfield because it means if the book's available right now, you have a better chance of getting it you know, sooner rather than later. So as you can see now, we only have um, 18 results. So it really narrows it down. But if you're in, you like need a book now, this is the best way to go about getting it. Um, and then you can see on the side here, we have all these other um, filters so if you want to also have murder in your story, you can click on that and now you'll have nine items that have murder plus detective mystery and it's international. Or, um, you know, maybe you want to choose where you would like this to take place. So we can go to France, which is where all the devils are here, but we'll only get three results. So you're really narrowed down. Again, if you're willing to wait, you can try all libraries again. Um, right now, these are sorted by relevance. So how closely related is this to um, All the Devils Are Here? You can also sort by title A to Z, author A to Z, publication newest to oldest, or by popularity. I'm going to leave it at um, relevance. And all these other little things up here, you can exclude electronic resources, you can limit to available, so then items that are checked out won't show up in the list. So that way you don't have to wait long for that either. But I think for now, I'm just gonna list off what we've found. A Song for the Dark Times, an Inspector Rubius novel by Ian Rankin. And you'll see right here, it says zero of one copy available at the Westfield Athenaeum. This means that our copy is currently checked out. So you won't be able to get our copy. You'd have to place a hold from another library. Dead Woman Walking, S.J. Bolton, The Plotters, Own Su Kim, and The Kingdom, Joe Nesbo, and Winter Grave, Helene Turston. And Helene Turston, Winter Grave is also not available. So you might just skip down to the next one, which is A Necessary Evil, a novel, a beer, Mukherjee. Mukherjee. And that's what you'll find if you use the catalog for a reader like for All the Devils Are Here by Louise Penny. For now, let's check in with everybody else. I will say that out of all of these resources, if you are literally just like, I need a book right now, obviously going to the catalog and doing what Olivia just did, limiting it to available items, that's going to be your fastest way to get a book today. Because remember, because we have extended our library to go hours, we are now doing pickup for library to go Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday from 8.30 to 6, and then on Friday from 8.30 to 5.30. So you could come and get those books kind of right now, unless you're watching this on a Saturday and Sunday, in which case, please stay home. <laughs> We're not here. We are also home. But that's going to be your fastest and best way. If you are willing to do a little bit more searching, um, obviously the things that Anne and I have used are not connected to the catalog at all. So Anne, why don't you go ahead and tell us what Fantastic Fiction returned for you? Fantastic Fiction is a site that is actually really good at uh, finding works by authors is how I tend to use it most at the library. So this time I searched the author's name, Louise Penny, um, and her most recent book, which is the one that's most wanted, All the Devils Are Here, is the first one that comes up. Um, and beneath that, it'll list literally all 16 books that are part of this series. This one is number 16, and every other bloody series, I don't know if they're bloody, but you know, <laughs> every other series that she's ever written, and each sort of listed. 
Um, and it's just a useful resource very often for that purpose, that you can find out where things are in a list. It'll list when it's due next. Um, and on that same page for the author's page, you can see what books the author recommends. So if that's a way you're looking for a next book to read, if you're waiting for something by this author, it's not a bad way to go. But if you go into All the Devils Are Here, click on the book, um, it only tells you that it's a mystery, which is a little, um, it's it's a little generic. It doesn't really help you find more books, but it also has similar books by different authors underneath underneath that information. And the first one they recommend is by Anne Cleves, The Darkest Evening, um, and that is also a detective. The detective is a woman, and it's set in a blizzard. Those pieces don't seem hugely, you know just sort of random things about being another mystery. The second book that uh, Fantastic Fiction recommends is The Searcher by Tana French. Um, and again, it's another detective mystery. Um, and, you know, again, similar, it feels similar if you read the two books and you're looking for something, different author, sort of different settings, but, but it's definitely in the sort of same vein of book. Third book that they recommend is Troubled Blood by Robert Galbraith. Um, again, it is another mystery. If you want to find out about the book that they're recommending, you actually have to click on the page and the really only tool that they have is to read the description of the book and you can sort of see if it interests you. This is another um, detective series by Galbraith and sort of, again, like Penny, another series. This one's set in England. The last one that they recommend is One by One by Ruth Ware. Um, again, another mystery. They don't, the, they're not likely to throw in a romance <laughs> if the book you're looking for is a mystery. And some lists will, and some lists will branch out. I think fantastic fiction is very straightforward. It's, it's usually the latest book by an author you know, you'll get the latest in a series, but luckily you can find out all the other novels before it if you're interested in learning about the series. That's it. Fantastic Fiction has its benefits and it will give you similar, it really does do a pretty good job finding you similar reads to the one that you were interested in. So that's it, ladies. I find it so funny that, so last month, if you watched our videos and used Google Books, which is a specific part of Google, and we discovered through Google Books that it liked to just return like related bestsellers. And I feel like that's slightly an issue with fantastic fiction as well. It's just like, ah, here are the related bestsellers because one by one is the latest Ruth Ware, the latest Robert Galbraith, who is the uh, mystery pen name of JK Rowling. Um, so it's just like, ah, here, here's more bestsellers, which might not be helpful if you are trying to get a book right now, because I bet you there are also wait lists on those books. But it will tell you what's new, and if you've read everything, that might be what you need. So again, none of these resources is bad, it's just which one helps you more right now. So speaking of things that made no sense, um, Google will sometimes not be as helpful as you want it to be, especially if the book is a very recent release, because there has not been quite enough time for people to generate lots of lists of books similar to that one. So you might run into that kind of a problem. I'm not going to go through my entire thought process. When I was using Google, there will be a different video for that. But I actually had to click on a couple of different websites and I actually had to, I had to get really funky with this one. So first I searched in Google books like All the Devils Are Here and I found this website that I've never seen before but it's called Book Browse and apparently if you become a member it's a bit like a public novelist and it gives you read-alikes. Um, it doesn't tell you why with like with novelists but it, it they are curated by the people who run this site. So it only gives you two, though, because otherwise you have to be a member to see more. So I'm only going to read you the first two. Um, but it recommends The Long Call by Anne Cleves, which is the first in a new Anne Cleves series. This was published in July 2020. 
And then it also recommends a book called Death in Brittany by Jean-Luc Banalek, which was published in May 2016. Death in Brittany transports readers to the French coast where you can practically smell the sea air and taste the perfectly cooked steak, frites, in an expertly crafted page-turning mystery. So while Long Call doesn't say where it is based, um, Death in Brittany is another mystery based in France. So if that's something that you liked about uh, the Louise Penny book, that's something else. So I promised you five books for me. And since I only had two here, I had to go back and all of the other Google results were really terrible. And I didn't want to use Google Books. So I had to switch my search to uh, books like Louise Penny. And I found a really excellent article that is seven series to read next after you've run out of Louise Penny novels. And this is from a website called Modern Mrs. Darcy. And this list is from last year. So whenever you're using Google, you wanna make sure that you're getting a recent list or else all the books on it might be old. And the top three, um, the first is A Great Deliverance by Elizabeth George. This is the first book in the Inspector Lindley series. Apparently, there are 20 existing titles at time of this article's publication. And it features a Scotland Yard detective. One is a male and one is a female. So the mysteries feature well-developed characters, intricate plot, psychological depth, and a strong sense of place, mostly in England. The second series is um, the Commissario Brunetti Mysteries by Donna Leone. The first book there is Death at La Fenice. These are set in Venice, so not Paris, but Venice. In this first installment, a renowned opera conductor is found dead in his dressing room, a victim of cyanide poisoning. Yikes. Apparently, the Commissario Brunetti series does not need to be read in particular order, so if you want something right now, you could start there. And then last but not least, uh, they recommend, or at least top three in this list, um, is the Duncan Kincaid and Gemma James series by Deborah Crombie. The first book is A Share in Death. And the author says, this might be my most recommended series for Louise Penny fans. It is Scotland Yard as well, but she says that that's only half the content. In addition to their cases, Crombie devotes considerable ink to her detective's personal genre dramas and romantic entanglements. In other words, read these in order. So there you go. Um, that's one of the good things about Google is you'll get personal suggestions, maybe from like blogs and stuff, but also take that with a grain of salt because they're one person's opinion but I struggled with this one. Sorry, it went a little bit long, but we always have Erica and Novelist to come up with librarian curated short reasons list of books. So I mentioned it before in different videos, but um, novelists can have a tendency to uh, kind of cut a little bit short on why uh, certain books are recommended. And this is the first time that I've seen all five of the top recommended ones be series that are like this series. Um, and unfortunately with Novelist, when it does something like that, it doesn't say which one in the series it is, right? By looking at it, you'd, probably, you'd have to click into the book and see. So I'm just gonna pull up the, uh, the list of the specific books it recommends and Novelist through its computery algorithms, I'm sure, said this one in the series is the most like All the Devils Are Here. So um, if you're looking for a specific one, uh, maybe check that one out and then see where that falls into the series, if it can be read out of order, you know, stuff like that. So the first one is The Shape of Water, not the one you're thinking of, by Andrea Camilleri. And this is uh, Salvo Montalbano Mysteries. Um, so I think, I think most of these are kind of foreign mysteries the same way uh, All the Devils Are Here is. Uh, the next one is The Three Evangelists by Fred Vargas. And that is, that just says it recommends The Three Evangelists for fans of Inspector Armand, Gam Armand Gamache Mysteries. Um, the next one is In the Bleak Midwinter by Julia Spencer Fleming. 
and this is Reverend Claire Ferguson Mysteries. Uh, the next one is In the Shadow of the Glacier by Vicki Delaney, and that's Molly Smith Mysteries. And the final one is Haunted Ground by Aaron Hart, which is Nora Gavin and Cormac McGuire series. Um, so again, it's just a lot of, if, if you're looking for, you know, series that, uh, series that kind of check those same boxes, it sounds like those are some pretty good ones to start with. Well, once again, I mean, I know that going into this, my fear was, all right, we're just going to get Louise Penny, who's such a big name. They're just going to throw other big names at us. Um, and I certainly didn't know many or any of the authors that came from Olivia or Erica. And I mean, again, Olivia did really narrow down her list, which was really excellent, um, especially if you want something to read right now. But I feel like even though it was a big name author, we found some really interesting and different books for you to look into if you're interested. So again, if you found a title that sounded good to you or you wanna look more about, there will be the entire title lists in the description of this video. So you can just copy paste that into the catalog or you can head over to library to go and request it. We can do the work for you of seeing if we have it or if we need to get it from another library. That's what we're here for. Again, Monday through Friday, we're in the building uh, unless it is a holiday. So give us an email, give us a call. Hopefully this was fun and interesting and hopefully you found some more books you're interested in. So have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>